Hi folks, Jeremy Klein with you with Outdoors NV. review of a piece of kit, the Kokatat Meridian, uh, the Gore-Tex version. And this is it here. I've had it for about four years now. And just this spring, I uh, actually had to have the gaskets replaced. So I'm very happy with the performance of the latex gaskets on the wrists and on the neck. On the Meridian, they are protected uh, with a bit of neoprene over the gasket itself. And on the neck as well, they're, they're uh, protected by a bit of protective covering. The Meridians now come stock or standard with a relief zipper or a drop seat in the back. Uh, when I purchased this one, it wasn't a standard uh, feature and I had that added. A quick low cost tip. This is beeswax. It's a great lubricant for the zipper. You can buy a couple of different manufacturers uh, zipper lube and zipper cleaner. This works just as well, if not better. It's a natural product. If you're in New Brunswick, uh, there's a, a beekeeper on the Kingston Peninsula, and that's where I got this from. But uh, it's a very good uh, low cost option uh, to keep your zippers in very good shape. I heat mine up close to the wood stove and apply it so it's a little bit softer and it uh, gets in to the teeth a little bit uh, easier. Um, run the zipper back and forth a couple times and wipe off any excess. This Meridian uh, is a three layer Gore-Tex material. Um, Gore-Tex, uh, the manufacturer, uh, stands behind its product which allows Coca-Tet to stand behind it as well. So if you ever find that that material starts to separate or delaminate, Coca-Tat, for the life of the dry suit, will replace the dry suit if you ever have any delamination issues. Um, they do have a lifetime warranty on the suit against any manufacturer's defect. If you poke a hole in the suit, that's obviously not going to be covered because that wasn't something that was defective from the factory. But if there's delamination, uh, it will be covered. Um, you can repair the gaskets yourself after the two to three years, or you can send it. What I do is I send it back to them, and I have them do a leak test. Uh, it costs a little bit of money, not much. It's less than $100. It was less than $100 to do the leak test and then to fix any 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 leaks. Um, of course, the shipping to them as well. If you're in Canada, it's pretty wise to so just go across the border. If you're near the border and ship it on the American side, you're going to save a lot of money. That being said, uh, the last time I had it uh, sent away, had the gaskets replaced, any leaks repaired, had this actually installed, so they'll do custom work on your dry suit um, at any point in time. Um, I had it shortened a little bit in the legs, and I had that added, the new gaskets put on. But that being said, I'm very happy, very, very happy. This is my, my dry suit, my personal dry suit, see in all of our videos. Um, this is what I'm wearing. Summertime, wintertime, you name it. Um, a little caveat to that. Um, a dry suit is meant to keep you dry. It is not an insulating layer. It is just to keep you dry. Your insulating layers are to be worn underneath the dry suit. So uh, I'm wearing typically uh, either merino wool or some kind of a poly fleece, that sort of thing. Anything works. Uh, I know a lot of folks out there say cotton kills. Uh, I'll let you in on a little secret. Um, I spent a lot of time uh, off of Deer Island uh, commercial fishing with friends and family. Um, and the go-to uh, piece of clothing for most fishermen is a cotton sweatshirt. It's not necessarily going to kill you. Is it the best 
uh, material to wear? No, because it holds in water. Um, it holds in your sweat. Um, if it's raining out, it'll hold that against your skin if your cotton layer is against your skin. Um, but anyway, it is still insulation uh, and it does work to a certain extent. It's just not the best. So, the Meridian has an overskirt, so your, your cockpit skirt tunnel would uh, come up into here. This would cover that. You tighten this. Uh, it just creates uh, a further path for water to travel and makes that skirt a little more effective on the kayak itself. The Meridian does have a, a bungee drawstring at the waist to bring that uh, uh, dry suit tight to your body so you're not going to trap as much air. It also comes equipped with uh, Cordura uh, wear material on the knees and the seat and that comes in very handy especially if you do a lot of camping um, or if you're scrambling over rocks and stuff that's going to uh, prolong the life of the material and the garment uh, just because it, it's a lot harder to wear uh, as opposed to the, to the uh, Gore-Tex itself. The zipper's covered with a flap on all of uh, the Meridians. Um, there is some reflective piping in them. They've changed the colors this year. Uh, there's three basic colors I believe now that are a little bit different. Uh, they've got a couple of combinations and uh, what I usually get people to do when they come into our shop is we go on the customizer. I'm going to uh, size individual people uh, while they're here and give them the option if they need, if, if they're kind of really far outside of a standard size, show them how far they are out and what they can expect when they get their suit or give them the option to get the suit customized so it's a, a fairly perfect fit for them. Um, but while you're doing that, you can customize your color and make whatever color suit you want. And i uh, show you a couple of pictures here of a couple of customers that did just that. They made their own color combinations and uh, have some very unique uh, Coquitat dry suits. Of course, there's a premium for that, um, but it's worth it. You get a really cool dry suit. Um, other than that, uh, you can get the Meridian in socks or latex gaskets. I go with the socks. Uh, it's going to keep your feet, I think, I personally believe a little bit warmer because they're dry. Uh, with latex gaskets, you're going to be putting on a neoprene sock or something to try and keep your feet warm because they're going to be wet if they're in the water. With the socks, you just have to have water shoes or an over boot uh, and wear uh, wool socks or merino wool or something like that inside of the suit. I find it a lot more comfortable, my preference. You may prefer the latex gaskets on the feet. That's up to you, but both are available. So, long term review. Um, really like the suit. I have not had any issues with it other than a uh, standard uh, two and a half, three year. I started getting a couple of leaks and that that is because of the way I handled the uh, the dry suit. The way I stored it to and from our put in, like before and after. If you put it in with gear, you run the risk of it getting poked um, and kind of storage long term when it wasn't in use. Uh, but other than that, uh, very happy with it. Uh, it hasn't faded a whole lot, and I've been out in some pretty warm sun, pretty pretty high angle sun, quite a bit. Um, and you know we've used it in some. Uh, some rougher water, not that that matters, but it's kept me very dry and, and warm and kept the hypothermia away. Uh, other than that though, uh, I don't know what much more to say about it. Uh, it's, it's worked very well. I'm very happy with it. Uh, and when people come looking for a dry suit, of all the Kokatat stuff, the Meridian is what I promote the most. It's personal experience. It's been very durable. So. I kind of pass that information on to other people. Uh, and I like the metal zippers, the durability of those, peace of mind of those, in my opinion, uh, as opposed to some of the newer ones. But I haven't used any of the newer plastic zippered models, so I can't say anything good or bad against those. But I do know that these metal zippers work very well if you take care of them with, with regular maintenance as prescribed by the manufacturer. And 
that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Uh, our email address is sales at outdoorsmb.ca. Um, I really like it. If you like our reviews, if you get good information from these, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. It would help us out a lot. Uh, check out our Instagram uh, feed. I've got some really neat pictures of uh, surfing in our area um, and neat products and things like that. And just neat nature pictures as well. Uh, give us uh, a like on Facebook and you'll get feeds from, from both that way. So, again, thank you for watching and uh, see you again next time.